Wow. Hello everyone! Good morning here in Canada, in Toronto pala. Welcome again to my channel, Michelle Eliana. And oh, here's my Baldes. hobby. <laughs> Louis Valdez. Guapong wow. Louis Valdez. Alright, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about working abroad. Paano nga ba ako nakapunta ng abroad? Paano ako nagso-survive abroad? Na Trump, Trump and Biden? Ano yun? Trump and Biden. Bakit? Your topic. Or... Yung topic ko, Trump and Biden. Anong pagkikialam? Ako nung pakialam ko <laughs> sa mga <laughs> president na yun na yun. <laughs> Hindi nga nila ako kilala, charot. <laughs> President of <laughs> Wala akong idea about Trump and Biden uh, more. But I want to talk about uh, how did I survive working abroad? Tere! So easy. So easy? How easy is it? Take a breath. How, how come it become easy? Determination. Determination? Yeah. Once you have determination, then you will survive abroad? Yeah. And what else? Even you just eat the, uh, once a day as long as you have determination. <laughs> Working abroad, you can eat once a day? Yeah. How about if your employer is so cruel? They don't allow you to eat? Just calm down. Calm down? Calm down. Trust, just give it to them the fullest goodness in your heart. Just shoot it to them. And then they, later they realize that you're a good person and they will not turn you to. They will be good to you. Really? The rod turned into cold. <laughs> <laughs> how come? But how about if, if they are really. Because they're still human. They, they are really cruel. They will grow no. person. No, 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 no. They will change. Let them change. Uh, in what way you let them, how, how do you let them change? Di, ipakita mo pa rin yung magandang puso, yung pinahumbleness mo. Maganda pa rin ang pinapakita mo. Tingnan mo, they will change. Kahit na, like, like, kahit na mali yung pinapakita nila sa'yo, yeah. papakita mo pa rin ang maganda. Yeah. Ganun? And then it's like me before when I was in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. My my employer is a terminator. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, I've been working for them for like six years. Okay. Ang na terminate nila, I can't count by my fingers and my hands. Like twenty more more twenty people they terminate. Mm -hmm. And then ako lang nag survive. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kasi pinapakita ko pa rin yung humbleness, yung loyalty to them. Yung trust nandun pa rin. Hard working! Yun. Oh. And then later, oh my God, pagdating ng, pagdating ng uh, New Year, mm -hmm. tawag nila doon? Chinese New Year? Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. Ang ampaw ko, they, they call it ampaw o lysi. Like, yeah, it's the same ampaw as lysi. It's like, uh, like 13 month pay. More than that. And how yeah. about the others? No, they just give 500 later. 500. <laughs> then they have favoritism. Yeah, because ako na yung pinakamatagal doon. Oh, and then, nung nag-apply ako dito sa Canada, hmm. doon na sila naging cruel sa akin. Ako'y <laughs> aalis <laughs> They didn't give me anything as they promised. No, nothing. <laughs> but it's okay. It's because buti nakaalis ka pa rin sa yeah, poder nila. Because uh, my determination ako at i-push kong aking determination while I'm still young. Ayun. Nakatating mm -hmm. ako dito. Uh, yeah, pero ang last word ng amo ko is kasi humihingi ako ng ng ano ba 'yun yung uh, employment employment letter. Employment letter hindi niya or release binigyan. letter. Yeah, hindi niya ako binigyan. Mm. So, hindi ko makuha yung passport, yung visa ko sa sa immigration ng Canada, sa Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. At ang ginawa niya, mayroon pa rin siyang ginunto ang puso. Ang ginawa niya, 
pinadala, pinadala niya yung resignation letter, release letter, letter uh, uh, direct to Immigration Canada sa Hong Kong. So, hindi ko nakawatan. Pero ang last word niya sa akin, sabi niya, you are hardworking, you will determine person. Um, so, gawin mo lahat kung anong ugali mo, mayroon ka, gawin mo pa rin habang nakarating na doon. At I'm sure, yung ability mo yun, yung determination mo, makakahanap ka pa rin ng magandang amin doon na gagabay sa iyo. For your future. Yun ang sinabi niya sa iyo? Yeah, yeah that's, yan ang last word niya sa akin. Ooh. Yeah. Kaya mayroon pa rin so, siyang So maganda puso. pa rin yung ano niya. Kaya lang kasi, May blessing they, pa rin yun. We are a big family kasi, ma ano sila yung at least bankers. may blessing pa rin sa datin mong amo. Mayaman sila, banko sila. Kaya may, may protocol silang family na once you are out of the family, uh, no more connection. Ganun sila. So, wala na kaming, hindi na kami nag-uusap. Wala na. That's all. At least mayroon siyang last words sa mm, At least kasi, we learn something now. Kasi, kasi ang gusto niya, nang yung DH, they call it DH, ang gusto niya, yung, ang gusto ng anak niya kasi single mom siya. Ang gusto niya yung personality is she didn't want girly look. Do you look? So I'm perfect. <laughs> Why? Crazy, yun lang pala. Yeah, yeah. yes, ma'am. Do you like Chloe? Yeah, yeah. I, I like mom. Why? Why you like Chloe? something from here i'm here in my work and uh, oh by the way it's not my story it's louis valdez story from hong kong to canada yeah. all right until next video thank you for watching